Okay, in this video we're going to do a quick breakdown of this rocky base form that I've created here. Some steps you may not need to take, others um, provide you with different details. So let's have a look at what we've done here. In this particular um, kind of makeup, it's very similar to the rock face techniques that I've shown already in the previous video. So you may notice some similarities. I've got myself a very nondescript mountain. Uh, it just happened to be the seed was that, and I could have gone for something a little bit different, which of course would change the end result. But uh, this is what it is. I only thing I changed here is I boosted up with natural because it was really short, and so I just made it higher. We have got our Voronoi, which I put in here. I set it to dual, and I really haven't changed much of anything else other than the scale. So it gave me smaller shapes. Combining those together, I get something significantly more complex than, of course, that nondescript shape that I started off with. Taking that through here, this sequence of steps is only adding some subtle detail, but it is a method that you could use without going the rest of the way. So I just do an erosion. I take that erosion and do an aperture contract on it by three, and that just sharpens some of the shapes. So instead of smooth, it just sharpens all the ridges. And then I go ahead and I um, subtract the wear from it again. So it's basically double eroding it, but with sharper forms. And then I go in and do a difference and this will give me the um, changes, the alterations that has been made here. With those, I can go back in and uh, subtract them from a just a regular constant. And it's gonna give me all those surface details, which I can then apply back on as a screen. And what this does is, again, it just provides some nice subtle details. So I haven't added a ton of it and it brings in some of these softer smoother ridges, softens some of the forms, just gives it um, more detail. So like I said you could stop here and then do other things with it um, but I go on And if you want, you can even skip this step and just go directly off of this. With this part, I've got type S, three and three, 100% and dual. That gives me lots of rock shapes. Combined with that, I have some lifted shapes, all the same settings, except for this is form C. Combined together, we get a fair bit of complexity, lots of things for any surface to think about. I'll be reusing this later in a different way, but for now, let's zoom out. I'm combining it with three gradients. One, two, and three. So a regular uh, 45 and a 90 degree angle. Each one combined roughly at about 90%, and each one eroded. This provides me with values for wear. The wear is going to be combined as a max, so I get um, as much as possible. They're going to intersect each other and again is a max, and they intersect each other again. And we get a different kind of complexity for our crack system than, say, using the cracks, which is just a Voronoi. Um, so it's just going to look different, um, has a different level of complexity to it. So I'm taking this, and this is why I say um, I don't necessarily have to use uh, all this extra stuff if you feel it's too costly. You can just come off the regular shape and all I'm doing is subtracting all these different wares all at the same time. So I'm doing about 50% of that. 
So I had a recurve and a recurve 90 degrees and combine those as min 100% and then blend them back in. What that does is it just goes ahead and defines the shape, softens some of the forms, and then we're combining it back in with itself. And it just starts to look more like the kind of rock shapes. Now I want to add more complexity to this. I mean, I could stop here. It looks neat, nice. Um, but coming off of this to reuse it, I could go just with it as is and then stratify it, but I decided to fold it first to change its shape. Then stratify. And then combine back with that original mountain form. So what this is giving me is little sort of uh, layered slices of rock which when combined back in with this and setting it to screen adds all that extra layers of complexity to the rock So hopefully you found that kind of interesting. Again, this is just a regular breakdown, so um, you can follow along, just go back and pause and uh, go through the different steps. And decide what you want to keep and what you don't want to keep. Okay, that's it for me.